How's it going, everybody? Back again here with another movie review. And if you would for me, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, you definitely help out by with the YouTube algorithm by doing these exact three things and you do them in any order. So, right now, I'm going to be talking about the movie Abigail, uh, which dropped earlier this year. Uh, it's directed, it's actually two directors, um, and they both worked on uh, two recent films that dropped. Uh, they, they did Scream 5 and Scream 6. I'm sorry, I, give, I guess I gotta give the director's names. So one's name is Matt uh, Bettinelli Open, and one is Tyler uh, Gillette, or Gillette, 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 however you say it. But yeah, these are uh, the two guys that directed uh, the last two Scream films. And um, they also worked on Ready or Not, which is honestly what this movie kind of reminded me of. This movie, uh, when I saw the trailer even, um, this movie reminded me of Ready or Not. Because uh, you have kind of a similar premise in a way. You know, you have uh, these bunch of people, you know, they, uh, they're all stuck in one location, except they're all crappy people because they're kidnappers who kidnap a, a 12 year old girl because she's, uh, this, uh, she's basically the daughter of like this rich and powerful mob boss, uh, as they tell you. Or just really powerful person in general. Uh, I don't know what happened to the trailer. What just happened to the trailer? The trailer just like went completely blank. <sighs> Man, difficulties. Okay, I'm gonna do a sort of trailer. Yeah, I, I just feel like that's my format, and for the trailer to do that. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say what happened to the trailer. <laughs> it was blank for a while. Yeah, so basically you have these characters, so they're all kidnappers, and they all have like different backgrounds and stuff like that, and you'll find this out later on in the movie, uh, what's exactly going on here. Um, and where I said this reminds me of Ready or Not also is, again, you have all these people combined in one space, um, and they all have to survive, basically. Uh, now, uh, there is a twist... And I, now, what I thought was weird about this movie was there's this thing in the movie, and they set it up as a twist, but they're showing it in the trailer. So everything I'm showing you here, it's in it's it's in the trailer. I almost feel like I shouldn't have did a trailer to this, because <laughs> um, especially if you haven't seen a trailer before for this movie. But uh, yeah, so. Man, I, I shouldn't have did a trailer to this. Uh, but there's a twist that they kind of give up in here. And they try to set it up as a twist. But go, it, but going in, you kind of know what is happening. Uh, but I will say, with all that said, though, I had a good time with this one. I thought um, I, had, I, had a fun, I had fun with this movie. I definitely did. Like... Um, who was the main character's name? I'm sorry, I don't know a lot of these actors. I know Kevin Durant is in here. Um, really big guy, too, but, uh, Carlo, uh, Carl, uh, Carl Anciano, Carl, I always call him Carlos Exposito, so that's, that's him. He's Carlos Exposito to me. Um, and Melissa Barrera. She um, is the main character in here, the, the main girl, the black hair, or the dark hair. So, she's one of the kidnappers as well, too. She's, like, one of the lead kidnappers. And uh, they, uh, and she was actually in the last two Scream movies. Um, that's what I remember seeing her from, was the Scream movies. And then, of course, let's like, see, so you got Carl Esposito in here. You got, um, you got Kevin Durant in here. I didn't realize Kevin Durant was that tall <laughs> until I saw him in this movie. He tired over everybody for real. Um, but yeah, this movie 
is uh, again like if you've seen I don't know if y'all remember Ready or Not it came out in 2019 and it starts Samara Weaving as as like the main character and the, in that movie she was getting married and their tradition in this rich family was in order for her to get married they had to play a game of Ready or Not but it was a deadly game of Ready or Not where they were gonna they were pretty much going to kill her and that's basically kind of what this is, except um, you have people basically trying to survive, you know, from a monster. And uh, and I think, like, it's, I mean, it's a fun premise. I think it's fun. It's, it is funny. It's, it's one of those, like, horror comedies. So there's going to be a lot of jokes. And I thought the jokes in here were really well done. Like, I think these guys can do horror comedy pretty well, actually. Um, let's say, you know, you got ready or not, you know what I'm saying? You got the new screen movies, so they, they can do horror comedy pretty good. Um, and there's no exception here. I think all the, the characters work out real well, although they're unlikable, uh, for the most part. And then you kind of feel sorry for them once, you know, once, once, you know, once everything you know, hits the fan. That's when, like, that's when everybody, like, that's when you kind of, uh, you kind of feel bad for the kidnappers, to be honest with you. Uh, and, you know, they're all confined in one space, so they can't really escape. So, it's, yeah, it's one of those movies. That, uh, that blonde girl on here, I've seen her in something, too. Let me look her up, because it's bothering me now. What is her name? Yeah, the little girl played Abigail. Her name is Alicia Weir. Yeah, her name is Catherine Newton. She was in Ant-Man, The Wasp, Quantumanium. Oh, she was in Freaky. That's what it was. That's where I remember seeing her from. She was in Freaky. If she was in uh, Pokemon Detective Pikachu. So, yeah, okay. I, I remember seeing her in the trailers for that. I haven't seen it, but, um, and it says she was in, uh, Three Billboards Outside of Missouri. I love that movie. Um, I, I couldn't remember her in that movie. I hadn't seen it in a while. But, yeah, I do remember her, and, uh, I remember seeing her face. She was in Paranormal Activity 4. Um, but that's where I remember seeing her, and was, uh, was Pokemon uh, Detective Pikachu and Freaky. Yep. With uh, her and Vince Vaughn, where uh, Vince Vaughn was a killer, and they switched they switched bodies. So uh, this movie, yeah, the, like it's interesting the stuff they do in here. I will say the thing I didn't really so I so said I thought the acting was good. I thought the movie was fun. I thought the production was was there. Uh, it's funny, like just hearing these these characters like bounce off of each other and just the, the situations that they put themselves in. I, I thought it was hilarious. Uh, and the, the ending wasn't too bad. I just think, uh, I don't think the story is very good. Uh, when, when they actually explain everything and maybe it's just me, I felt like the explanation didn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, so it, it didn't feel like there was a lot put into the story as much. Like I said, again, it's like Ready or Not, you know, like Ready or Not, the story wasn't like crazy or nothing, but you still have fun with that premise. Like the, the premise and, and even the actors just made it fun. So I think with this one, you'll have a good time also if you watch it and you get invested in it. Um, and also, um, I just realized too, uh, I was reading through this too, so, also, I want to say too, rest in peace to Angus Cloud, um, that is the, that is the one character in here, he has like a, I don't know if there's something with him or something, and I, I, I do apologize, because the man, the man is no longer here with us, uh, so rest in peace to him again, um, I know he speaks really slow in the movie, so I don't know if, if there was something with him, or um, I know they said uh, uh, it was drugs, so I don't I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But um, again, rest in peace to him. But 
uh, you'll, you'll see him in here too. So, but this they dedicated this movie to him. Uh, he died last year. Uh, so, but I, 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 again, I thought the whole cast on the board was really good, man. Uh, for front to back, really good cast. Uh, everybody acted their best, man. I appreciate it. So, um, I am going to give this movie a moderate recommend. Definitely moderate. Uh, like I said, you'll have fun with it. You'll definitely, that's what I did. I had fun with this movie, but the, the, the story, the story doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like the, the explanation is why everyone's there. It really doesn't make sense at all. Um, cause I know they kidnapped her. They're trying to get this ransom money. They're all going to split this ransom money with each other. If they wait out the night or something like that. And then there's, there's something to it. So, um, but if you stick around, you'll see it. But I just didn't think the explanation was that good. Um, so, it, so I give it, I give it a moderate uh, recommend. Uh, definitely check this one out, though. Like I said, you'll you'll have a good time with it. It's pretty violent too. It's gory. You know, it it you know it being the movie it is. It is it is very violent. So uh, definitely check it out. And um, if you like this review, if you agree with me or disagree with me express your thoughts in the comment section and like and subscribe to the channel as well it definitely helps the channel out when you do so and i will see you in the next video peace